In this video, I'm going to help you get organized in Camtasia so you can have faster access to your most used tools and effects. I'm also going to help you find tools and effects that seem to go missing and give you some tricks to ensure they never go missing again. Let's get into it. If you want to learn more about Camtasia, I live stream every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern here on YouTube. I show you how I make my videos with Camtasia and I answer any questions you have live. You don't have to be a channel member or be subscribed to my channel to join. My live streams are open to anyone. But if you do subscribe, you'll be notified when I post new videos or when I'm about to go live. So I hope to see you Tuesday and now back to this video. So here's my Camtasia sample project and what I want to focus on here is the left menu. So whether you call this the, the main menu, the left toolbar or toolbar menu, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that's, that's this section here. So this is where you'll find all of the tools and effects that you can use in your projects. And what you may find sometimes is that you can't find something that you know was there before. And there's a real quick fix and there's also a, a specific reason why this happens. And it's usually when you need to have more room on your timeline and so you stretch the timeline up higher like this. You would just click here and you can give yourself more room in the timeline by dragging this up. Now I'll point out a difference between Camtasia for PC and Camtasia for Mac. I'm using a Mac right now and on the Mac, this is the line that you click to drag. This is the line that separates the canvas window from the timeline window. But on a PC, it's actually up here. I don't know why there's that difference, but if you're, if you're on a PC, you won't be able to drag this line here. It's this one here, which you can't use on a Mac. So I'm not sure why, but there it is. So if you're not seeing everything you need to see here, it's probably because you've got a lot of room here on your timeline and you've, you've made smaller the room that you have here up above. And so not everything is being displayed. Where they are is you just have to click more here and then you can see them. So these are the two that currently don't fit in this in this configuration. Okay, and you can simply click more and then click on these to, to go to that effect. What happens is the one you clicked here will replace the one that was on the bottom uh, of the ones being shown. Okay, so if I want to go back to voice narration, if I click there, now that's the bottom one here. Okay, something else you can do is you can simply click this and drag it down until everything is displayed. All of the tools are now displayed and that more link is gone. Now let's say you often do want a large or like a higher timeline to edit with. Maybe you have lots of tracks that you're editing with. Uh, so you, you quite often do have, you know, maybe your, your window looks like this, but maybe some of the ones that are being hidden, okay, you don't want to be hidden. You want them to be up here. Well, there's a quick way to fix that. And there's two different ways, actually. I want to show you both ways that this works. If we can see all of the menu items, okay, if the timeline is small enough that you can see everything, all you have to do, let, let, let's say we want this gesture effects to be near the top. Just click on it and drag it up to the top and let it go. That's how you reorder your toolbars. And you can, you can do whatever you want. You can click and reorder everything. Let's just bring this back to the bottom here. Um, just like that, very easy. So when you do, so let's bring this gen, uh, gesture effects back up here. When you do reorder it, and now if you do have less room in the upper window because you make the uh, timeline bigger, that one is now always shown on top because it's nearer the top, okay? And now uh, the list of ones that are being hidden has changed. Okay, but now there's something else I wanted to point out. Instead of having to drag this window down in order to reorder your toolbar, you don't have to. You can simply do it this way. Like let's say uh, this is the size that I want, but I want my behaviors to be always visible. Just click them here and you can move them over here. And what happens, again, it'll be replaced by whatever is being bumped off of the main list. Okay, so we'll put behaviors here. Okay, now visual effects was bumped down. Uh, the bottom one here is voice narration. So just remember that if I click animations and bring that up here, now voice, actually voice narration stayed there. So it's not necessarily the bottom one, which one, uh, bumped down here. It looks like it might've been transitions. So anyways, you have full flexibility to reorganize your toolbar, however you want. The reordering of the toolbar items is brand new in Camtasia 2024. So if you are on 2023 or earlier, you don't have that ability. You would still have this more um, option once your, your timeline gets too tall, 
um, but you just can't reorder it unless you have the latest version. Now, something else I want to show you that'll help speed up your editing is that maybe there's tools within each menu item here that you want quick access to. For example, the transitions. If we click into transitions, there are a ton of transitions. I don't even know how many, like 100, 200, I don't know, a lot. I mean, it's fairly easy if you know what your transition is called, what its name is. It's easy to find by simply going up here and search. So if you want to search for Here's one called four color iris, okay? If we just type in iris, okay, it'll only show us the three here, in this case, that has the word iris in the name, okay? So that's one easy way to find, find one. The other thing to keep in mind is everything listed in here is listed in alphabetical order, okay? So you have the A's on top, accordion, action wipe, and so on. Okay, so that, that'll help as well. If you know that, it makes it easier to find what you're looking for. But what makes it even easier uh, if you're like me, there may be only a couple of, of transitions that you typically use. So why not just put them in its own area where you can quickly uh, access them? And that area is called your favorites. So that's right up here. The standard place for this menu item is at the very top, although now you can reorder things, but I would recommend leaving favorites at the top. And then to get anything into the favorites, let's say we want this card slide one in the favorites. When you click on it, you can see this white star here. If you just click that to make that go yellow, like this, it's now in your favorites. So this is called card slide. If we click over to favorites, you can see everything in here has that yellow star. Okay, and now here is that card slide. Okay, that's not one I typically had favorited. Fade and fade through black are the two I use most often, so they're right here. If you want to remove something from favorites, all you have to do is you can either click this star to make it go back to white and it'll just disappear or right click and click remove from favorites and it'll disappear. Okay, let me just click it this way and it's gone. Okay, so something to keep in mind, it's not just transitions um, that you can put in your favorites. You can actually put many different types of tools or effects. Uh, so animations, custom, restore, I mean, there's there's not as many animations as transitions, so maybe it's not as important, but for me, for example, if I go to my favorites, uh, I have several things, and you can actually, org you, can, you can select to only view, uh, say, all your annotation favorites, like this, by clicking the type, all the transition favorites, okay, all your animation favorites, custom and restore, I use all the time, uh, and your visual effects, those are two that I use quite often, um, but you can leave it on all if I usually leave it on all because I don't have enough in here that that uh, requires me to scroll down. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I've got some some callouts, you know, text and arrow, background, uh, sketch motion, blur, highlight. I use these all the time, so I leave them in my favorites. Do you want more tips like this? Let me know in the comments below. Or come join me on Tuesdays in my live stream. I live stream every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern here on YouTube, sharing my screen and doing how-to tutorials. I show you how I make my videos and I answer any questions you have live. So if you're looking to level up your videos, join me on Tuesdays. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon. Thank you.